Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and we are still in Chapter 20, so this is going to be Chapter 20, Part 3, and we're going to talk about the concept of pH, and we're going to talk about the pH scale, and learn about pH calculations. So, for starters, we're talking about aqueous solutions, that means water is the solvent, and we have to talk about something called the self-ionization of water, which we really haven't talked about before. But if we have two molecules of water just hanging out in a beaker, to a small extent they will interact and they will dissociate such that we get the H3O plus ion and the OH minus ion. So again, acting uh, to self-ionize. So two water molecules can interact to produce a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion by proton transfer. And it's important to note here that there are double-sided arrows, which is telling me that this is an equilibrium and that it can proceed in both the forward and the reverse direction. So two waters are interacting and they are self-ionizing and proton is being transferred from one water to the other and we're producing the hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion and then these two ions can interact and go back to forming a water molecule or in this case two water molecules. So at 25 degrees C which is room temperature one mole of hydronium ions and one mole of hydroxide ions exist in every 10 to the 7 liters of water. So in 10 million liters of water there are a mole of hydronium ions and a mole of hydroxide ions. So therefore the concentration of the H plus is equal to the concentration of OH minus if it is neutral water and again it, there is one mole of each of these ions in every 10 million liters of water and so if you do that division it is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. Remembering that the capital M means moles per liter and so if we just divide to get that denominator to 1 we know that the concentration of the hydrogen ion which is equal to the concentration of the hydroxide ion in pure water since it's neutral they have to be equal to one another and that is 1 times 10 to the minus 7. So at 25 degrees C, the concentration of hydrogen ions is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 molar, and the concentration of hydroxide ions is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 molar, moles per liter. So water is neutral when the concentration of the hydronium ion is equal to the concentration of the hydroxide ion, and I, got, I apologize, I use hydrogen ion and hydronium ion interchangeably, they're the same thing. So we can talk about something called the water dissociation constant, and its symbol is capital K sub W, and it is an indication of the rate at which water is dissociating. At 25 degrees C, the Kw is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen or hydronium ion times the concentration of the hydroxide ion. If we plug in those values from the previous slide, it's 1 times 10 to the minus 7 for each. And so when we do that multiplication, we get the value of the water dissociation constant, the Kw, is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 molarity squared. Why is it molarity squared? Because we have molarity times molarity and again 10 to the minus 7 times 10 to the minus 7 we combine the exponents and we get 10 to the minus 14. So the water dissociation constant Kw is the rate at which water dissociates and it will vary with temperatures. So the value of the Kw is different at different temperatures. We will be only talking about room temperature which is 25 degrees C and again it stands for the concentration of the H plus ion or hydronium ion times the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So calculating pH. So first let's define it. The definition of pH is the negative logarithm, so log base 10, of the concentration of the hydronium ion. 
So in equation form, pH is equal to minus the log base 10 of the hydronium ion concentration. And whenever you see these little rectangular brackets, that means molarity. So example in pure water at 25 degrees C, the pH is minus the log base 10 of the hydronium ion concentration. And we've said that that value at 25 degrees C is 1 times 10 to the minus 7. So if we take minus the log of 1 times 10 to the minus 7, we get 7. So again, pH 7, that value that you've heard probably before in your lifetime, pH 7 for neutral water comes from the fact that pH is defined as minus the log base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. So pure water has a hydrogen concentration, hydrogen ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 7. And again, in pure water, if it is neutral, the concentration of H3O plus is equal to the concentration of the OH minus. So let's talk a little bit about logarithms. If we talk about the log base 10 of 1 is equal to 0, if we think about it, and in math class you might have learned this little circle thing, where we say that the log base 10 of 1 equals 0 because 10 raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. So 10 raised to the 0 power is 1. And again, I found a little uh, clip art of y equals log base b of x, where b to the y is equal to x. So logarithms are tricky, but they are convenient when you're dealing with very log, large and very small numbers. So acidic solutions are any solutions that have a pH value of less than 7, so 6.99 would still be slightly acidic. And basic solutions have pH greater than 7, so again, 7.1 would be slightly basic. And again, our pH scale goes from 0 to 14, the reason being that our Kw for water at 25 degrees C is 1 times 10 to the minus 14, so that's where we're getting this value of 14 from. So strongly acidic compounds would be down here in the 1, 2 range. Strongly basic compounds would be up here in the 13 to 14 range. So since at 25 degrees C, the uh, dissociation constant for water, Kw, is 1 times 10 to the 14th molarity squared. The total of pH plus pOH is going to be equal to 14. So pH plus pOH equals 14. This relationship allows us to determine the pH if the pOH is known or the pOH if the pH is known. So if the pOH is 2, what is the pH? And we would say it would be uh, 14 minus the pOH, so 14 minus 2. In that case, the pH would be 12. So some common substances with their pH, and again, pH comes from French, uh, hydrogene from French meaning hydrogen power. So if we look at our scale here, hydrochloric acid has a pH of 1. Sodium hydroxide, 1 molar, has a pH of 14. If we look here in the middle, we see um, baking soda is about 8.5. We see that human blood is slightly basic. It's about 7.4. Pure water is 7.0. Milk is slightly acidic. Black coffee is more acidic. Tomatoes, wine, and vinegar are more acidic still. And lemon juice is really quite acidic. It's about 2.2. So understanding the log function. Consider the pH values of solutions that range in hydronium ion concentration from 1 times 10 to the minus 1 molar to 1 times 10 to the minus 14th molar. Notice that the pH value is the exponent of the uh, concentration, but with a positive value. So again, it only allows for the calculation um, where it's a power of 10. 
So if you're given a value like 0.03 molar, I'm going to suggest that you use your log function on your calculator. And I have another tutorial that will walk through doing some more of these calculations. So calculating concentrations from pH. Since you can calculate the pH from your hydrogen ion concentration, can you do the reverse? Yes. How? So you're going to rearrange that parent equation. So if pH is minus the log of the hydronium ion concentration, then minus the pH would be log of the hydronium ion concentration, and the inverse log here minus pH uh, is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration would give us 10 to the minus pH is equal to the hydronium ion concentration. So again, we're doing the inverse or anti-log here. And again, because log base 10 of the hydronium ion is equal to minus pH. So 10 to the minus pH is going to give me the hydronium ion concentration, and 10 to the minus pOH will give me the hydroxide ion concentration. It all sounds like a lot of math, doesn't it? So summarizing, if you can calculate the pOH from your hydroxide ion concentration, can you do the reverse? Yes. Again, rearranging your parent equation. Here, the pOH is equal to minus the log of the hydroxide ion concentration. So we can take the anti-log and get 10 to the minus pOH to give our hydroxide ion concentration. So summarizing, pH is minus the log of the hydronium ion concentration. pOH is minus the log of the hydroxide ion concentration. The hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus pOH. Hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the minus pH, and pH plus pOH have to equal 14. That's a lot of equations. I have tutorials that will walk us through further calculations. For now, this is Miss Augustine signing off. I'm sorry if I made your head spin there a little bit.